everyone i am dr c candice jason graceta assistant professor department of english sf nirmala college for women the topic we are going to see is on intertextuality we'll see the definition of intertextuality how it is used in text pop culture and in media and the two types of intertextuality in this presentation the word intertextuality has come from the latin word intertexto which means intermingle while weaving Intertextuality is coined by a French semiotician Julia Kristeva in the year 1960. Julia Kristeva says, "A literary work is not a work of a single author, but its relationship to other authors and to the structures of language itself." So, intertextuality uh, could be found in a literary work because a literary work is not a work of a single author. In a literary work, you will see uh, references. allusions from other texts quotations taken from other sources included into the text that becomes intertextuality intertextuality shows its relationship to other uh, literary text relationship to other texts and to the structures of language itself uh, we can take william golding's lord of the flies novel Uh, as an example of intertextuality as it has taken ideas from oral stevenson's novel treasure island so it is a perfect example of intertextuality julia christopher says any text is constructed of a mosaic of quotations and any text is a transformation of another a text a literary text consists of lot of quotations or sources taken from other texts and in a literary text Uh, actually it is a transformation of another text transformation done and uh, in a, in 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 a literary text uh, the historical and social uh, uh, background of uh, author as well as a reach, uh, readers previous his own previous reading his own experiences and a position within his cultural formation all these things also form crucial in the text according to julia christopher julia christopher says in the textuality means one text is made up of many texts and it is done through open or secret citations allusions repetitions transformation of features of earlier texts uh, citations refers to quotations texts taken from other sources in a secret manner and allusions refers to references or texts taken from other books repetitions also sources taken from other texts and repeated into uh, another literary work and transformation of features of earlier texts means taking the special features of earlier texts transforming it and putting incorporating or adding it into a literary text and we can take a, a taylor swift song love story a pop song as a perfect example of intertextual reference as a song refers to uh, the play romeo juliet and the novel scarlet letter and you can see the line cause your romeo i was a scarlet letter and my daddy said stay away from juliet so these references are uh, uh, very good examples of intertextuality so there are further examples of intertextuality in literature so james joyce ulysses Uh, is a retelling of Homer's Odyssey and Stephen Pressfield's novel The Legend of Bagger Vance is a retelling of Hindu epic Bhagavad Gita and Amitabh Ghosh novel The Hungry Tide consists of the intertext from the poetry of Will K continuously uh, in the consequent uh, uh, chapters Uh, we can take the example of uh, the film snow white and seven dwarfs which got published in the year 1937 and later in the year 2012 here was a film called mirror mirror got published and it has got the sources of the story from so sources from the previous film snow white and the seven dwarfs and the film is transformed into another in mirror mirror so it's a perfect example of intertextuality so intertextuality has further definitions it is the shaping of a text meaning by another text it interconnects with similar literature and in, in influences a reader's interpretation and intertextuality is produced uh, in text using variety of functions to consist of seven allusions quotations call plagiarism translation pastiche and parody allusion means reference from other texts taken and incorporated into a, another literary text into our literary text and quotation is taking quotations from other sources and introducing it into our 
literary work. And then Kark is a word for word trans, uh, translation from another one language to another language introduced into our literary text. And plagiarism refers to copying or taking sources from other texts without giving acknowledgement to them. And uh, translation refers to translating a particular line from another language and incorporating that line into our text. And pastiche refers to imitating the structure and pattern of another text into our text. And parody refers to imitation of the structure and pattern of another text, imitating some some uh, sources of another text in order to mock or ridicule. Through this seven functions, intertextuality is used in text. So now we can take the example of this painting, Mona Lisa by uh, Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, this famous painting is now uh, undergoing an intertextual reference with Avatar heroine's face. So it is a kind of a parody and it also comes under intertextuality. And there are two types of intertextuality, referential and typological. Referential means we take sources from other texts in the form of fragments. And typological refers to uh, taking patterns and structures of other texts and using it in our text. And uh, intertextuality has got three effects. One is it influences the reader. Second is it adds layers of depth to a text. And the third one is uh, all these things, all these uh, meanings of the, uh, of the particular text, it depends upon the reader's prior knowledge and understanding also. And intertextuality is a literary discourse strategy utilized by writers in novels, poetry, theater, and even in non-written texts. So we can take the example of Robert Frost's uh, poetry called Mending Wall, where he uses the line, good fences make good neighbors. This particular line is a, an example of intertextuality as it is a proverb taken and incorporated and used in the poem of Robert Frost's Mending Wall. So there are further uh, two more types of intertextuality called as iterability and presupposition. Iterability means repeatability of a certain text. You take a certain text from another source and repeat that in your text. That is called iterability. And presupposition means uh, the text creating some assumption about its reader and the context through its some meaning it own creates. Uh, about the reader and its context that is called as presupposition and intertextuality is a very important concept in the literary field as, as well as in media and advertisement in everything because whatever we are reading or seeing through if we have the idea of intertextuality we'll find out where the source has been taken how it has been transformed and that is that makes it as an inter interesting subject i hope and I am sure that this topic will be very much informative to you since intertextuality plays an integral part in many texts as well as in media.